All right, so boom. I just added this little baby to my collection. It's the Stoger STR9C. Remember the C part. It's for compact. And here's what I think about it. But first, let's go to the range. All right, so straight out the packaging, you know we get the uh, the cardboard package, you know, for these l less expensive guns. That's what you're going to get right now. But coming straight out, you get the Stoger 9C. You get a speed loader, lock and key set, and you get your use your manual. Now, with this one right here, for the 330 price, which is, the I guess, the base price, you only get the the one magazine. But if you were to pay, if you were to pay fifty to sixty dollars extra, you would get the two more magazines and two more back straps. But right now, this is what you can find. This is what I found in my city. I actually picked up the last one. So let me go ahead and see how to shoot for y'all today, man. We will be shooting at a distance of about ten yards. That's about as long from from me to here. It's about as long as my hallway is. Five rounds to start off. Brass case. Let's see how she do. Let's see if y'all can see real quick. Okay, there we go, right there. Now I was aiming for the head. I did miss two off to the left, but I hit two in the same spot over in that, um, by the ear, and I hit one up top. And that's aiming for the X. Now maybe I'm a bad shooter, but man, that gun feels nice. Now let's go ahead and go for some steel case. Got to jam up immediately. We're going to see what that's about. Might just be our steel case woes on this channel. As y'all can see, I missed one off to the left over there. Right there, I missed that one off to the left. But everything else, everything else hit it. So now, of course, because it's what I'm going to be using it for, we got to try our hollow points. Same hollow points I use for self-defense. I am going to go ahead and try it again with the slide right back because that's it. that is where we failed uh, to load. We failed to feed in the last with the steel case. So I'm going to try it again and make sure that it was the steel case's fault and not the gun. Nice. Okay. Last checkup, y'all. I was aiming for that X in the middle. I know I could be a better marksman, but at 10 yards, so that small target, to me, that's pretty good. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Now we about to just load it down and have some fun, man. In this next load, I'm gonna be doing brass case and steel case. I'm gonna go brass case, steel case, brass case, steel case, so forth and so on, till we fill out the magazine. Y'all check this out. This magazine right here, look at her. I, had, I got rounds falling out. That's crazy. They're just falling out. I don't know what that's about, but hey. K-9 
Can't be having that. All right, y'all. So we about to go see how we did at 10 yards. Just so y'all can see. That is 10 yards. Right here. Well, it's a little bit past 10 yards. So let's, let's see what we're talking about here. Y'all check that out. That entire time, out of all those shots, I only had three misses total. And that's fresh out the box. Y'all check that out, man. That's pretty dope. I like that. I'm not sure what's going on with this magazine, y'all. But um, we gonna get that figured out. And I am gonna go ahead and test it out because that's the first time I've ever seen something like that happen all together. So we are gonna go ahead and diagnose this real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let this last magazine go. And it's all steel case. Just so uh, we can go ahead and complete this test for y'all. All right, so this had a little crazy idea. We're gonna try it with one in the head, no magazine inside of it, and we're gonna load the magazine in there, see how she works. Let's head back to the office. All right, cool. So first things first, what I wanna talk about is the thing that I noticed and which really made me pick this gun up. It is the trigger. This trigger to me guys is so nice. You would get a nice sturdy solid pull off that trigger. Now I am comparing that to my first EDC, my, GT, my G2C. This trigger right here, as y'all see it is, they both are empty. You, you can just do that all day. It's, I mean, it's, it's slightly crispy, but this baby right here, way, way more crisp. I love it. If I had the, if I had the chance, I would trade to get one of these triggers into my G2C. Second reason, this gun, man, it is so, it is the the feel in your hand. You, it, it might sound crazy that I say you can feel this gun in your hand, but you going this. I'm talking about you gonna feel this. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I take this little this little bat, this little band or whatever they put on there. If y'all look at that right there, they got them, them little uh, cutouts right there. That's that's tough. You know what I'm saying? It don't feel bad in your hand. It's kind of spiky, but you definitely feel the aggression on that grip. Speaking of aggression, you also get these super aggressive slide serrations. This, bruh, I'm talking about this. I've never, I've never felt anything like it, bro. I've, bruh, I'm sorry. That's, that feels good. Now with this gun, you do get, you drop in the bucket. And it's super easy to pick up, y'all. In the daytime, when I was out there at the range, getting back on target was not a problem. Cause I'm talking about, not only does the gun shoot smooth, but the dots are big enough to where you can, you can put shots down range Easily, I mean, get back on target is like it's like that with this file. It's nice, but of course there are some cons that come along with this gun. And to be honest with you, I really can't blame this company, but I can because they put the firearm out. Number one, in the package that I got, there are I believe there's two different packages. You can get the one package that I got, which only comes with. Um, a magazine, one magazine, and the speed loader. Or you get the second package that comes with like three magazines, two extra back straps, and the speed loader. 
I got what I could find on this gun, but to me, that is a downfall of this. Let me tell you why. As nice as this magazine looks, number one, I only have one, and they are kind of hard to find right now. I did reach out to the company, and two days later, they hit me back with an email explaining that they don't know when they're gonna get more magazines in, but they say that they are coming. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. But to me, that's a point knocked off. Number two, as y'all saw out there on the range, one of my this is my first time using this gun. Why is the magazine failing? It's brand new. I'm talking about the follower in the spring. I guess it kind of compressed in there. I don't I don't know what happened, y'all. To be honest, but I had I had rounds just falling out. That's that's a big no no, bro. That can't be having that, man. Another downfall because this gun is fairly new. I think it came out in like 2019 ish around that time. There aren't many accessories for this gun. By that, I mean the only accessories you're gonna get with this gun come in the box that you buy. There are no holsters right now specifically for this gun. Let me say that because there are some universal holsters you can get for it. If you want to go that route, there aren't a lot of magazines right now that you can find, but you can put your regular, you know, red dot light on the, on the bottom of the rail here. It is fairly big. You can put whatever light you want on there, but one of the, this, this is, this is like a, uh, like a vain thing to me, but I would love to see it. And I have seen it in new releases that have come out. This, this firearm only comes in one color option. Now I know that they're new at making these pistols, but in the future, I would like to see some type of color options that come with this. If they come out with a version two of this, they come out with, you know, different pistols all together. To me, this is a, like, this is a, they're like trial run of getting into pistols because they're known for shotguns. All in all, in my opinion, my very humble opinion, this gun to me on a scale of 10, it gets a cool seven and a half. And that's that's just being fair, you know? There are some cons to this gun, but all in all, this is, this is pretty nice. This is a very nice pickup if you do decide to go get it. I picked mine up for around 330, but they do come in a price range of 300 to maybe like 360, 370-ish right now in 2021. If you're thinking about using this firearm right here to replace your EDC, I would tell you to hold up, wait till they get these magazines out. And if you need something right now, go get you something else. Because to be honest with you, you're gonna want more magazines. Even if you wanna go to the range, only having one magazine is, it's kind of boring. Just being honest. So wait till the magazines come out or wait till, you know, more accessories start to come out for this gun if you wanted to replace your EDC. But I will say, if you do pick this gun up, what I'm gonna use it for, and what I think is best for, this is a great backpack gun. You need to have something in your backpack if you can't carry your EDC, you know, you wearing something that's a little revealing or, you know, whatever. This is a great gun to go in your backpack. Cause I promise you, when you reach for it, you're gonna feel it. There's no question about the aggressiveness of the grip on this gun. But y'all, that's my review of the Stoger STR 9C. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want me to do more of these. See y'all next time. Peace.